so I'm here at the uh, Massachusetts Peace Action Rally for Earth Day. So we have a couple of speakers lined up. I'll also be speaking as well. This is Dr. Jill Stein. This gathering is what democracy looks like from across the spectrum of justice, of climate justice, and social justice, and labor justice, and prison justice, and all the forms of justice that we need to be together because if you put us together, we are an unstoppable force. They may have the money at the moment, but we have the people and we have the power. Let's stay connected. Let's make today a beginning, a new kind of Earth Day, a new kind of day for people, planet, and peace over profit. Together we are unstoppable. Thank you so much. Sabi's up next. She's up speaking oh. next. So we are getting really excited. Are you ready? Are you still on the back and taking up Sabi here as a part of this? The UN Coalition, which is kind of I love Revolutionary Blackout Network. I've listened to them when I'm exercising. They are awesome. Compton, Jay, and Nick, they're so great. And Sat, they're amazing. So everybody should watch them. We should promote them today, for sure. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Our next speaker is uh, Sabrina Salvati. Over the past few months, I've seen journalists and commentators censored on many platforms. All of them independent journalists, of course. Some of them have lost years of their work on YouTube and Spotify. You may know some of them. Chris Hedges, Abby Martin, Lee Camp, Tara Reed, all of them have had their work erased because they revealed the truth about the U.S. imperialism, regime change, and these ongoing wars abroad. Independent journalists, we are at risk of losing our voice because we do not repeat the lies fed to Americans from networks such as CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. While they continue to bombard airwaves with Russia and Ukraine, they remain silent about attacks in Somalia and Yemen. They make excuses for economic warfare to make Americans feel better about children starving in Afghanistan because of the sanctions imposed by the U.S. government. They preach a pro-war message that I feel is incredibly dangerous because it gives Americans the idea that the United States government are the good guys, and the countries abroad are the enemy. When I think about Julian Assange, I'm reminded of just how far our government will go to silence us. Julian is being tortured for revealing the truth about U.S. war crimes. This is why freedom of truth, freedom of press, freedom of speech, are so incredibly important. Yeah. You don't have to agree or like what we have to say, but that's okay. Because you also have the choice not to watch or not to listen to us. But we should have the right to speak. Thank you. All right, how'd it go? <laughs> that was awesome, you guys. Everyone I met was so awesome. And one of the things that was said by a long time activists is that we need to be calling out the media. Like, we need to be protesting for the, the media because that is the big problem because they control the narrative. So that was good to hear. But yeah.
right, I'm gonna head out.